you know, we're all normal. Just trying and our best is 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 good. Like yeah. we're always questioning ourselves if we're a good mom or not. And you know, when they, at the end of the day and they're sleeping, you're like, oh, they're so cute. Why did I yell at them can all I, day? I to, and you want to freeze the moments because it, yeah, we, yeah, because some of us don't realize. So th- th- you have a lot of that in this book, which I really encourage everyone to read the book. And it's like I got through it in a night. It's so it's such an easy read and it's very very funny. Um, comedian, actress, mom, Carrie Louise. Her husband is um, comedian Tom Cotter. His book, Bad Dad. They're just their books are just so adorable. They make you smile when you just look at them, just because of the cover of them. Too. Yes, I, and you should um, you can go to Amazon.com and if you have Prime, Tom Cotter will be at your doorstep in two days for oh his book, God, Bad perfect, Dad. Perfect, perfect. It's a perfect gift for it's a dad. It's a perfect, perfect. It's, his is his. Is, mine's personal stories. His is just set up punch jokes that you can like put by the toilet and just get a couple of jokes while you're doing your business. It's a great book for a dad. It's a great book. It really is. Okay, perfect book. Thank you for thank you for bringing that. My to book me. is just how to deal with a bad dad right. and, and deal and with and a kid, comedian and life, in life and, and try to be mom. normal and be a mom. And it's like you said, it is honest. And I talk about like even sex. I talk about everything, uh, soup to nuts, and it's all honest and, and it's shocking. Probably, it, right. It's probably it's it's what like you think. You, what, what moms think. What moms think and what we what some of us won't say. But you're saying exactly. it here for us. And then you feel much better. We don't feel You're like, alone. Oh my God, I'm right. not that bad of a mom. Right. I'm not a mean mom. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So what do you talk about in your acts? Is it, is it mostly family about the kids? Is it mostly personal? I do personal stories. Um, and it is mostly per- like if it's not if it doesn't happen in life, it's not in my act. It, like one of my best jokes is I'm not even a comic. I just need to get out of the house. <laughs> and it's not even a joke. I didn't even I get such a great laugh on it because moms can just totally relate. And it and it's true. I mean, it it's I need I need comedy more than comedy needs me. Aww. I'm a great mom because I'm out of the house for that one time and I'm on stage and people ask me, like, how can you drive five hours to do a gig? Well, five hours of peace. It's like, right. it doesn't seem that long. It like goes because by fast. we need fast. something for ourselves. And then when I'm on stage all by myself, no one's grabbing me. No one's saying, ma. <laughs> no one's fighting. And I'm alone up there and I'm making people laugh. And it's just such a great outland is such a great feeling when i get home i'm then it all starts off and i'm a better mom and have you ever gotten nervous up there um i have like when uh, when they say whatever you whatever you do don't say this like you're like oh my oh, god, god. Right, now i gotta think of whether it's in my act you don't think it's in your act right. you're about to say it and then you get nervous or you know they'll you're about to go up and they say oh yeah by the way you know, so and so. You know, the Letterman people are here. Then you're like, oh, really? You're like, oh my god. And then I was gonna go with this way, and th- the Letterman people don't like that type of jokes. They only like set up monologue jokes, and they don't like acting type jokes. And I'm more animated, and so you get so nervous when things like that happen, or when you're videotaping you. And and that's when I wish they didn't tell me because if I was just myself and right. didn't give a crap, that's when you get things. Right. That's right. So be like that because you're know. terrific just the way you. Are. So, so um best is best show worst show moment I I did oh this was in Connecticut by the way okay. oh, one God. of my okay. worst shows Windsor Connecticut okay. I did the Windsor State Commerce Connecticut gig and I'm young in the business and I don't know when you're young most most comedians when they start young they start dirty so I was a little dirty and there were priests in the front row oh, and God. no one was my age everybody was like 50 or over and I did bad and I got off stage and all I wanted to do was get my check and go home but the comedian who was giving my check, which was so weird. I don't know why he wasn't supportive. He's like, oh, you know, next time give me advice. He's a comedian, a fellow comedian. He had the check and he was hiding in the men's room because <gasps> he was embarrassed of me. I don't know. And I wanted to just leave. And everybody was coming up to me going, oh, I thought you were funny. Some of them were saying, oh, I thought you were funny. Like, that's the worst compliment. And then some <laughs> old woman comes limping up to me and she's like, you. She had no words. She's just like, you. Ah, oh, you. You were you were, uh, oh, that's what she said. She had no words for me. She just said, you were, uh, that was like my worst comment. I'm like, I wanted to leave so bad and I couldn't find him. I finally found out that he was hiding in the bathroom. I had some guy pull him out. I'm like, will you give me my check? I had to get money for this. I'm not leaving. Yeah, you're, getting, exactly. What, what's not Good, bad, me and my different. Money because I was, did a bad show. So I gra- I go, you gotta give me my money. So he gave me my money and I got into my, crappy car and drove home i lived in boston two hours at the time and drove home and cried the whole way 
Oh, oh it's so sad. Well, it can't. It, does it always go smoothly or as you plan it? Because ha- and how do you plan much it? much better now? I've been at it for okay. 20 years. So you take those. Now I know my audience. I can switch gears much better and faster. It not always goes smoothly, but I I'm not doing that bad anymore. Like I have enough material that if this isn't going well, I can start doing these types of like is if they're just, not is getting the kids, I can do my hus- husband stuff or I can do I talk about I talk about I have dyslexia, which is why I can't believe I wrote a book. <laughs> okay. So if I can do it and right, if you right. guys want to follow your dreams, you can just you know uh, Google mm-hmm. is like the best spell checker ever. Right. Even my real spell checker doesn't even know what I, that's how bad I am at spelling. <laughs> like if I go to my real spell checker they're like, I don't know what you're talking about. I go to Google. They're like, did you mean? I'm like, yes, Google. Thank you, Google. Thank you, Google. Yeah. Google like knows me so well. Isn't um, that funny? As a television producer, I'm the worst, worst speller in the whole wide world. Most of us are as TV producers, but we can write. Yes, so. and Willow Street Press is great at that. She edited all my stuff. She, oh, uh, God, God, God bless, bless Susan. her, Susan Koenig. Susan, great. Susan, you're writing, she had to write read, my book. She had to read my book, and she was like the best. Go- Did you mean this, Carrie? <laughs> I'm like, yeah, you know what I mean. <laughs> Thank God for her. Oh, she's terrific. So, most yes. of your actions. And I can imagine that if you go to New York City and you go to the, you know, Levity Live, it's a totally different group of people. Well, that's the, when Levity Live is just one of the greatest clubs and it's, it, you're, the stage is set for you. So it's hard not to do well, you know, but when you're going to these Windsor Chamber of Commerce gigs, you don't know what kind of people you're going to get. Yeah. So you learn, I learn now to make sure the audience is sitting up front. I make sure if there's no lighting, I try not to go up on stage. I try to make sure that they have the lighting. But when you're first starting out, you don't know you all don't this. Know. You're like, oh, okay. Yeah. You're like a puppy dog. I'll do it. I'll try to do it. And right. then you fail and they think it's you when really, you know what? The lighting was bad. The mic, they couldn't hear me. Right. right you know, right, that right. type of thing. So you learn all those. You and know, you by, wear whatever by, you feel comfortable or whatever. It depends on where you're going. You have to kind of dress for the part a little bit. Yes. And you know your audience mm-hmm. and I'm able to switch gears. And like I said, it's 20 years in the business. So I have a lot of comedian, a lot of, a lot of jokes. So now when I'm doing the late night in Dangerfield right. or at any club in New York City, I end up doing the stuff that I used to do when I was younger because it's younger kids. And they're the ones, that's my audience. But then when I go to these, um, these fundraisers, these uh, school fundraisers, moms, uh, PTAs, I do all my mom stuff. I'm like a superhero. Oh, I, I, I bet love you doing are. Those gigs. I bet you are. I do. I, I, I look, cause everything, they connect to everything. So it's really fun. They're totally my audience. I think your dinners must be really funny at your house. You guys are all together. I can't even imagine. Everyone asks, they're like, what's your house like? What's, your, you know, what's you and your husband like? And I'm like, you know what? We're kind of normal. I hate my husband just like everybody else hates their. <laughs> husband everything Sorry, aggravates Tom. me but anyway i use it to t- on stage and i get laughs at it so then it's okay but still go get his book tom cotter can, can be delivered it's called bad dad it's the perfect gift and carrie's book mean mommy everyone should go get this book make you sure can- you spell my name with an i not a y because if you do spell it with y you will get the porn star oh for god's sake seriously yes seriously. okay k-e-r-r-i <laughs> spell it right um we're gonna put it all over and get her husband's book tom cotter um bad dad because it's terrific it's it's funny. It's sensational. Howard Stern said that. Yeah. So I'm saying it too. Thank you so much Thanks for joining. Thanks for having this me. Was so much fun. It was fun. Have a great weekend, everybody.